I have art intimidation right now. Like I have not painted in such a long time that I feel intimidated to start a painting. So I'm gonna be honest with you, but I'm equally as excited as I am intimidated. So I'm doing this. <laughs> so I found some old canvases that I already coated with a thin layer of burnt sienna, like probably a year ago. And I really want to use these. I feel really, really inspired. And I have like, probably like nine ideas of paintings I wanna do right now. And I'm limited by time. <laughs> so I think we're gonna do one of those. And I'm not even sure which one yet, but I'm just excited to create. I hope you're excited to create with me or at least just hang out and watch. So yeah, let's just get started and see what happens. And as always, if you are creating with me, you are more than welcome to share what you're creating down below. I love hearing from you folks. I love learning about what kind of stuff you make. So go for it, share away. I was just reading the comments on another video I posted and somebody was sharing about their cross stitching adventures. You all are so cool. Like you just blow me away with your creativity. That's all I have to say. Okay, do you wanna fill a palette with me? I cleaned my little butcher tray. We're gonna put some paint all over it together and then we're gonna put some paint all over this together. You can never go wrong with white. Am I right? Ah, this one dried out. Good thing we have a backup. The lid was broken. Okay, our palette is ready. I think I really feel like painting a croissant, but I also kind of feel like painting a round creature. So literally like whatever happens, happens at this point. <laughs> Those are two very different things. I don't have time to do both, so I'm only picking one. Let's go! So the first thing I am doing with this piece is essentially sketching in everything with another diluted layer of burnt sienna. I mixed a little bit of magenta with it, but that was just for funsies. Sometimes you'll see me sketch things in with vine charcoal, or I will do what I just did here. But today, this is what I felt like doing. <laughs> so now I'm blocking in the background. I'm just trying to block in all my colors at the beginning. I'm gonna try to tell you folks my process with this piece because I don't always do that. And I know some of you really like when I discuss the process. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I found a royalty free image off of either Pexels or Pixabay. I can't remember because honestly, I filmed this video like almost a month ago. <laughs> I'm just now doing the voiceover. But I altered the photo quite a bit and I added these oranges and just did my own thing, you know. So I really enjoyed taking creative liberties with it. At first I had a difficult time getting the color right for the oranges, like the shade that I wanted. But after working with it here and there, I feel like it, it all worked out. Sometimes you just have to do a couple layers to get to where you wanna be. Just, you know, if it's not going well or you're struggling, be gentle with yourself and have grace with yourself because usually when you're struggling, it means you're learning and that's the beauty of art. Okay, so this orange juice glass was so fun to paint because honestly, I've just been wanting to paint glass for a while. And this seemed relatively easy, low commitment because 
part of it was out of the picture <laughs> and it wasn't the focal point. So it didn't seem as scary, but it definitely gave me a taste for some stuff that I would like to do later. I would really love to do a floral bouquet series with like just the flowers or flowers in a vase, depending on how I'm feeling. Eventually, I will probably do that. It's definitely on my list. I just love flowers. So another challenging thing with this piece is I wanted the plate to appear white, but I also wanted everything to kind of seem like it was on this like whitish linen tablecloth or a piece of fabric. So to play with both of those things and make the plate stand out was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I think the stripes really helped though, like to set the plate apart from everything else I was doing. So I'm thankful for that. And the stripes are actually in the reference photo. <laughs> and part of me like wanted to leave them out because I thought it would be easier, but I also wanted to push myself. So I kept them in and I'm really glad I did because I think the orange and the blue just complement each other really well. Also, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but if you are interested in this piece, I do have pre-orders in my shop at mirabyler.com. This will be a limited edition print run. So yeah, if you want one, you can head over to mirabyler.com. I think I'll do 50 prints of this. And as always, my prints are numbered and hand signed on the back. So that's cool. Okay, we're painting the sides of this canvas. I really felt like things were coming to life here and I don't know, I, I decided to stop what I was doing and just do the sides <laughs> so that the sides could match like the oranges and stuff. I'm really glad I did that, but it really felt weird because I wasn't done with the painting and I've never really done that before. So now we're on the croissant. And I'm so excited to paint this. This is the whole reason why I did this painting. I've just, I don't know why. I've just been so in the mood to paint like pastries. And I think part of it is because we have this place called Pistachia Vera in Columbus. And if any of you folks live in Columbus, Ohio, or you find yourself visiting Columbus, you have to go to German Village and go to Pistachia Vera and then just walk around and hit up the book loft and just, ugh, I just love doing that. Anyway, I love pistachio vera and uh, all their pastries, like all, just everything there is so good. Their cappuccino is amazing. And yeah, they post really good looking stuff on Instagram. So I think it just made me want a croissant and some macaroons. <laughs> yeah. That's seriously like why I'm painting this, but I hope you enjoyed this. I am using acrylic paint and if you want to know the brand, it is golden heavy body acrylic paint. I really like this stuff just because it's super pigmented. A little bit goes a really, really long way. It is on the pricier end, but it is light fast. So if you're somebody who, you know, you like to sell your artwork or you just want something that's professional quality. Um, highly recommend. Not sponsored or anything. Just literally, I just, I feel like I'm just rambling all my thoughts to you right now. <laughs> it's a good time. I hope you're enjoying this and you feel like we're hanging out, you know? If you created any art with me during this video, I would love to hear about it. It can be art, a craft, a song, whatever. I just love to hear what you folks create. I think you're all amazing people and it's just so inspiring to hear what you do too. Anyway, here's the piece. I hope you like it. 
I hope it also makes you hungry because I'm hungry after doing this voiceover. We finished the painting. I am really happy with how this came out. I think it is very different for me to do like a still life, but this is something that has been on my mind for a couple months actually. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I think I've mentioned wanting to paint food for a while. And if you look back at my art, sometimes I do paint food, but anyway. I wanted to do like a complete painting though, like not in my sketchbook of food. It felt good. It really felt good to switch things up. I will have limited edition prints of this, so if you're interested, check out mirabyler.com. Um, by the way, when I painted this, it really made me want bread. <laughs> I still have one more old canvas that I found, so there may be a part two of this with another foodie item because I had a lot of ideas for food paintings and things that I wanted to do and I chose this because I just it was really vibing with me but there's some others that I'm really vibing with and part of me just wants to do a little food series <laughs> okay I hope you have a good day and I will see you when I see you bye